Hi everyone, I'm back again. Unfortunately, I am now, I've been moved up to cell 331 from, one eight, uh, from 318. Um, it could be because I've been stuck in bed for, since the last time I made a video with my foot. Um, but I do have a new cellmate. And the reason why uh, the cameras face this way is because we were trying to see how we would fit together in the camera. So, um, but anyways, his name is Mikey Black. And uh, he's not on YouTube just yet. Um, maybe soon. <laughs> and uh, right now he's only on uh, Facebook. So, come on in. <laughs> Hello. So... There. Okay. Much better. Okay. <laughs> um, you want to show us a picture, right? No. You want to show? No. no? Okay. So go ahead. Say where you started. Well, I started over 400 and um, I'm down to 381 right now. And the reason I wanted to do these videos with Heart is because we're kind of going through it together already anyway. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to document it. On, on video and see our progress. So what happened was um, I met Michael, I'm gonna, let's say five years ago. It could have been a little bit later or earlier. Um, he came over for, I believe, it was, I think Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner. Your, your daughter just invited me over one time, remember? Yeah. She had all of her friends over. Yes. Yeah. Um, and he was, I think 320, I mean 420. Yeah, something like, like that. It was, he was heavy. Mm -hmm. And he was absolutely miserable. He had been that way for how long? Years. Ten so years. I think he was also going through a pretty bad depression. Yeah. And, I, and I told him, I said, well, I can help you in some ways. Because, like I said last time, when I had my weight loss support group, mm -hmm. I was just like, well, why should I be helping? How could I help somebody when I'm in this mess myself but I do know a lot about nutrition I do know a lot of things that work and doesn't work and a lot of scams right. and uh, so on so uh, the main thing I started doing with him was um, we wanted to get a weight first and then we wanted to get uh, measurements first and I still have his measurements it's been that long <laughs> um, but he got down, what was the lowest? Three, uh, it was 364, I think. 364. The and then, um, you know, I think once you, you know, you're not accomplishing everything as fast paced as you want to. So you, you, I don't want to use the word give up, but you're just tired, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, he got back up to, th what was it? Three... When you just started 389. 389. Yeah. So just by doing the little bit of things that he's been doing the last couple of weeks, he's already at 381. So that's really good. At least he's not over 400 because I know he's worried about that. Yeah. So. <laughs> getting there. Jeez. Um, so that's where he's at right now. And um, his favorite thing right now, he's going to take us to see cats. Yeah. So he used to be in drama. Oh, yeah. He used to take being lots of plays and musicals and all that kind of stuff. And one amazing thing is what happened to him about the dance. What? He used to be a dancer too. Oh, yeah. And I said that he should look into that because he'd get really fun uh, exercise with that and tell him what happened. Well, I was at work and I started talking to this lady. She mentioned she taught kids. And I said, well, what do you teach? She said she teaches dance. So... I just, I started talking to her about how I used to be in dance and how my favorite musical is Cats, and then she freaked out and told me that was her favorite musical, too. And she, um, she just, she told me how she used to tear apart the living room with her sister all the time and play Cats when they were kids, and her mom would get mad and everything, and then, <laughs> um, she, she was a little bit bigger, too, not, not, like, huge, but she was, she was bigger. Right. And she said, well, why don't you come join our dance class? And I said, well, nobody's going to take me seriously being this weight. And she she kind of pulled back her coat and, you know, showed off her size and said, they take me seriously, so they're going to take you seriously. Yeah. And so. see, that's one thing, especially it, no matter how you feel when you're overweight, you don't feel worthy. Yeah. 
and that is something that everybody struggles with and even even people that um, are actors and actresses that are overweight they still feel that way and they could be on top TV shows and they still feel horrible um, I think everybody goes through that um, we don't feel worthy when we're overweight and that's a very hard thing to overcome by any measure um, but I will tell you that uh, trying to just start to do things you know like like just trying to get out and and doing the smallest exercise even if it's dancing to a, one music one one song a day that gets things going you know um but i did want to say that i i'm hoping that um whoever sees this will maybe try to do this it doesn't have to be because it's the new year but i started doing what's called a vision board and it's actually on my phone where I took six pictures and I put them on my phone and I used them as my vision board. And it's not really about losing weight and that's all I'm talking about and it's just weight loss and, and exercise. No, it's living your life and trying to do more things and feeling better about yourself. Um... What are some of the things on your vision board? Um, I put on there that I wanted to lose weight, for one. And then I put on there that I wanted to start dancing again, which I thought was kind of funny that that lady, a couple weeks later, actually started talking to me about joining her dance class. And I think that is... Because then once you start doing that, and once you become part of a group, that's another thing that makes you feel better. And makes you feel like you don't have to... I use the word suffer, but it kind of like, that's what it is. You kind of do feel like you're suffering because yeah. you don't have the means right now to step out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. So, um, well, one thing I hope to do, I don't know how often he'll be back um, um, right now because he's new here. He's getting his uniform. <laughs> <laughs> um but I do want to encourage him to go to that class or to start one up or do something in that realm of dance. Like I said, dance to one song a day, something. Um, as for me right now, what's happening with me is my foot. I know I talked a little bit about it uh, last week when I was saying that um, I have uh, my bones break down in my foot and I'm having a, a lot of pain with that. And I'm actually going to go, I'm speeding this up. <laughs> um, but, you know, I've been stuck in bed. And uh, so there's been no activity. So that could be the, the weight gain. I don't think it's weight. I think it could be a lot to do with water weight. But um, it will just see how it goes. That's all I can do right now. So um, another thing that I realized, and I know this sounds upsetting to a lot of people, but I've been following... Um, intermittent fasting and I kind of come to the realization that the only way that this is going to happen is if I do a lot of intermittent fasting and I think maybe that will help me um I don't know Michael's the opposite I mean <laughs> sorry, <Cindy. laughs> Mike is the opposite of me so like I don't I'm not one that enjoys food. Actually, I can't, I don't, I, it, I don't like it. I, I am just so turned off by food because I know what it's done to me. So I don't have that. Um, I used to have that addiction to where I wanted like double cheeseburgers, but that's what I was raised on. And I thought that was normal and that's not normal. <laughs> Um, but he's different than I am to where he needs to, um, work on that a little bit. Yeah, food's more of a comfort for me when I'm feeling down or anything. So. And to me, it's just the opposite. Yeah. I am detested by food. I mean, I'm just so sick of trying to figure out what's going to help me to feel better. You know, what do I eat? Is it vegan? Is it, uh, meat? Is it... It's just frustrating. That's what it is. <laughs> and I get so, just so fed up that I'm just, I don't even want to eat. And um, 
So I think maybe I'm going to try that a little bit more, especially now that I'm more inactive and see if that'll work. I'm not seeing them starve myself for days, but I think I am going to go um, like maybe a 24 hour fast and uh, see how that works and eat once a day for a little while. So that's my goal for this week. Yours is to get down to 179. Okay, but Under how? 379. <laughs> how? Uh, just by, I'm trying to do that keto diet. Okay. Through my phone, the app, through okay. my phone. Um, no pop. Okay. Just try to drink lots of water, try to eat better. So let's, let's add a new goal of, um, of exercise or dancing to one song a day. That could work. Yeah. Like definitely. whatever your favorite song is, let's try that and see okay. what happens. Okay. And then if he's not here, I'll update how you guys, how he is doing. And, uh, I gotta go though. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>